That's nice. Uh, this is the next guy. I've seen him on stage. He's funny. He's new. He's developing. Please welcome Dwayne McMillan. Come on, keep that love going. Come on. Give it up one more time to Jen. She is killing it tonight in here. Holy shit, this is Yuck Yucks. It's my first time here. It's only my 10th time on stage, actually. She said I'm new. I'm relatively new. But it's pretty cool for an old guy like me, right? And when I mean old, I mean I'm going through menopause. I have to moisturize now. If I don't moisturize my elbows and my ankles, I get reptile dysfunction. Now, the fun doesn't stop there. No, no, no. I got hair growing out of my ears like I'm some sort of fucked up Chia Pet. And on a good day, my balls are more deflated than a Tom Brady football. I know I'm a catch, aren't I, ladies? Woo! I'm also old and I'm cheap too. I don't know if I've always been cheap or it's happened since I got older. But true story, I got off work one morning after a midnight shift. I'm driving home and I have a heart attack. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, I drive myself to the hospital. I look at the price of parking. This ain't happening. So I park across the street. Now the only problem with parking across the street, I had to walk over a snowbank across a busy intersection and into the ER. I got to the ER, the nurses all grabbed a hold of me, put me on a gurney, called the ambulance, shipped me up here to the Heart Institute. All is good. You know, they fixed me right up. Now, a couple of good things happened that day. You know, they saved my life. But the greatest thing that happened that day, I saved three fucking dollars on parking. <laughs> Now I'm married for the second time. I know you can't believe it because with all the hair growing out of my ears and stuff, but I am. Whoever said a man's kingdom is his castle or home is his castle, however the hell that goes, they were stoned, drunk, had to have been single. There's no way. I lived on my own for five years between wives, and I know that I could decorate. <laughs> Or as I called it, pull shit out of a box and put it on a flat surface. Now, I'm at the liquor store one day, and I see this bottle of vodka. It's called Jazz Vodka. It is the coolest bottle I've ever seen. The bottle's in the shape of a trumpet. Check it out. I shit you not. Now, I bought this thinking, okay, I'll drink the vodka, and then I'll put it up on my cabinets as a decoration, you know, because it's really, really cool. Yeah. Got home. Explain the situation to the wife. <laughs> she says, yeah, I'm sure to make a great decoration if you lived in a fraternity, <laughs> for which we don't. Now, this isn't the only instance. There's many more, but I'll give you one more. So I go to the bathroom one day. I mean, I go more often than that, but one day I went to the bathroom. <laughs> and uh, I wash my hands like we're supposed to, and I finish the soap. So I threw the soap in the garbage, grabbed a new container of soap, put it out, now, I came back a couple hours later, you younger guys, that's what's going to happen to you when you get older, so don't make fun of me, I have to go to the bathroom so often. Anyways, I get back, and the soap has been changed. It's like, so I asked the wife, it's like, what the hell did you do? She says, you put out winter soap in the summer. <laughs> Who in the hell knew there were seasonal soaps? Besides this lady. <laughs> Now, I've also got kids, I got two of them. I remember when my oldest one was little and I, I learned a lesson. Do not take your freshly toilet trained toddler to a hardware store. <laughs> I'm in line at Rona, my little guy lets go of my hand, says, Daddy, I gotta go pee. So he tears off to a floor model toilet, drops his shorts and his underwear to the floor. So there he is, bare assed in Rona, I'm still up in line, so I did what every responsible parent would do. I left. Uh, I, ran, I ran to catch him. But the thing is, is when I ran into him, I slipped and fell. 
And I slid into that poor little bugger like I was going into second base. <laughs> I caught him, bare-assed and all. He never hit the floor, he never peed in the toilet. I stood up, I got my very first standing ovation, which was kind of cool, you know. Thank you. Now, uh, it was mentioned about online dating. I actually met my second wife online. Online dating is great. It can be awkward though. There are times where it's awkward. I've been on, I was on many of those dates. You know, there's nothing worse than being at dinner and your date, nothing, it's not going right. You know it ain't happening again. And uh, so you're at dinner, you got to drive her home. That's an awkward, awkward drive, right? Uh, after a few times, I got thinking, what if I started dating homeless women? <laughs> if you think about it, dates not going so well, you just drop them anywhere. <laughs> now, thank you, you've been great. I'm gonna call it a night, but I do want to leave you with the very first dirty joke I ever heard. I was in grade three or four. What do you get when you cross a prostitute and a leprechaun? You get a little green fucker about yay bake. <laughs> Thanks. I'm doing the call. for joining everyone. <laughs> really enjoyed that. Especially like when he was bragging about washing his hands in the toilet. I was like, I guess we gotta wash our hands now. Things have changed since I was a kid. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, it was good. Uh, I'll give you a good joke about my husband because I feel bad it was all about the sex. Uh, but uh, no, we, he's my like moral compass, right? He helps me with perceptions. You know, people